My name is Sterling Backus. I'm a PhD laser physicist. I work for a company called Thor Labs, which is basically the Amazon of what we call photonics. And one of my big hobbies is building Lamborghini supercars in my garage. So originally, this whole process got started with my son and I. My son and I liked to play a video game where we drove a Lamborghini Aventador and we had a little, you know, Xbox and we would do that from time to time. And he was looking for a project for us to work on together because he wanted to learn about mechanics and cars and how to change oil and tires and stuff. And I thought, what better project than to actually build a car together? And so that's where we started. We started uh, working on the car. He helped me clean out the engine, take apart the engine. He helped me do some welding on the car. So he learned a lot of trade skills uh, during that time. And then at the same time, he got to learn about 3D printing. And he was very interested in, you know, what could he do with 3D printing other than work with me on the car? And in that, we were able to uh, use 3D printing or additive manufacturing uh, to actually print two supercar bodies. The first one is a Lamborghini SVJ, or was built from scratch. And that body was entirely 3D printed, as well as a new project, which is a McLaren 600 LT. The McLaren was acquired at a junkyard. We basically bought pieces of that car, put them together, and then the pieces that we were missing, we used 3D printing in order to replace those parts. Those parts tend to be very expensive, and sometimes they're hard to get. And so using the 3D printer really helps us save time and money. I have a couple of 3D printers that I use for 3D printing the car. They're both uh, Creality products, which I very much enjoy, high quality products, and they are also working almost 24-7 in printing. I really like the part of 3D printing because it allows me to take parts from the printer, put them all together, and then realize them on the car itself. And that's absolutely fantastic because that's the kind of emotional feedback that I'm looking for when I'm building a project like this. So my experience with the Creality K1 Max has been awesome. It's a very large format printer. It allows me to print very quickly um, the body panels on the Lamborghini. The Sir Moon D3 also has a large volume and it also can print ASA very well, as well as the K1 being able to print nylon carbon fiber, which we use in some of the more mechanical parts of the car, uh, such as folding side mirrors. So there's certain parts of the Lamborghini that can be printed and there's certain parts that cannot. The big one is, is the frame and the engine cannot be uh, 3D printed, at least in my shop. And also certainly the resin doing the interior work on headlights for these cars because they can be quite expensive. Back when I started 3D printing the Lamborghini, parts took quite a while to 3D print. Now with my K1 Max and my Sir Moon D3, the printing speed is three times faster. So now I can start printing parts within a few hours rather than days. So the first thing we need to do is we need to actually design what we're going to build. And that is usually done in some sort of CAD software program. You can see the full car here, but I only actually have to design half the car because then I can just mirror it onto the other side. There's a huge advantage of doing 3D printing. And then we would go into a slicer um, I have a different part in here. Uh, this is actually for the uh, McLaren, which is part of the headlight where we are putting this into the slicer, adding supports to it, and getting it ready to put into the 3D printer. We're always looking for ways to improve the technology and the process controls that we're doing for these vehicles. And so basically we want to update our processes and how we do things because they're always changing. All of the media attention actually made it all its way to Sant'Agata, Italy, into the actual production area where they make Lamborghini Aventadors, that not only were we using 3D printing, but that it was a father-son project. And so it was something that they elevated up to the directors of Lamborghini, and that's when I was contacted by the chief marketing officer of Lamborghini. At first I thought I was in trouble because there is a lot of things going around where people buy Ferraris, do certain things to them, 
And then they get sued. And she assured me that that was not the case, that they really loved the story, they loved the project, and they wanted to work with us on a project together. And that project was a commercial for Lamborghini over uh, Christmas in 2019. And what that really led to us to be able to start a YouTube channel on informing uh, this new community of people who are doing lots of car projects on YouTube. All of us learning from each other and one of the big things that our channel was doing was showing the utility of 3D printing and how you could use it to only have to design half the car. And then I started learning from other people. So the future of this project is, is that once we're done 3D printing the body panels for both the Lamborghini and the McLaren, we're going to cover them in carbon fiber so we're going to do some composite work. Um, and then we'll paint the cars and we'll take them around to shows to showcase awesome power that 3D printing gives to the car community and what it does for us. The other side goal is to take the cars to local schools as a STEM or STEAM project. And in that way, we will be able to show kids how you know, wonderful it is to be able to use science and technology, 3D printing and all of that in order to make something as amazing as these supercars that are behind me. 3D printing in the United States is, I think, still a little bit in its infancy, um, but I do think it's a very popular thing in uh, the kids that are coming up through school. Um, they're seeing a lot of this technology used in the things that they use every day, and now they're getting exposure to it when uh, they're in you know, junior high and high school and college. And so I think that it's becoming more and more popular, especially when people see that 3D printing doesn't need to be just used for making little figurines. You can actually now make usable pieces, like you can make a coat hanger, you can make a bookshelf, you can do a lot of different things around the home, uh, not just 3D printing supercars.